Welcome, this is Mr. Brazil. I'm gonna teach you how to use Google Sheets to graph two data sets to produce two lines on the same graph. Um, it could also apply to nonlinear systems, but here I have density, um, the density of aluminum and copper, where the volume will be on the x-axis because it's mass over volume, y-axis will be the mass of each uh, metal. So here we go. I'm going to, under F, um, F2, I'm going to type volume, and don't forget to put your units, enter. I'm going to collect the uh, uh, copper data, A3. I'm going to click, uh, drag, Control-C, and then copy and paste that under the volume on the F column. So paste. Same thing with aluminum. I'm going to collect that data, click, drag, Control C, this time right below the copper data, I'm gonna click that cell, in this case, cell F17 for my data, and I'm gonna paste. So now I have the two data sets, um, one above the other. On G2, I'm gonna type um, copper mass with this unit. I'm going to, under H, Three, I'm going to aluminum mass, parenthesis, and put our mass for aluminum. Okay, now I'm going to go over to the copper mass, um, B3, for my data set. Drag and highlight, control C, and underneath the titled G2, I'm going to paste my mass to copper. Again, I'm going to do the same thing for aluminum. I'm going to click, drag and highlight, copy. But in this case, I'm going down to H17, cell H17. I'm going to click there and paste my aluminum data. So it's scattered, okay? Um, you'll see what will happen. It'll allow us to plot both data sets without having um, any crashes. So here we go. Now I'm going to my insert chart button. I'm gonna click it, okay? Um, again, a graph is provided, but all the data is kind of all not in the correct place. So let's start with our x-axis. And actually, I wanna change this uh, chart from line to scatter plot, because scientists, we love scatter plot. Some business folks too. So I'm gonna go to the x-axis waffle. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to F2 and drag on down. See that I'm doing this all behind the graph? I'm not even sweating it. It uh, Google collects the data, no problem. So I'm going to go OK. Now I'm going to collect my copper data. So I'm going to go to series and I'm going to add series. Uh, don't worry about this H7. We'll deal with that later. So I'm going to collect my copper data, which is down to H16. I'm going to say OK. Now I can get rid of this H17. I'm just going to remove it um, so that you can see what's going on. I uh, was able to collect the copper data without even seeing it because I just used the sidebar or the, the rows to guide where I need it to end up. So now let's do the aluminum. So I'm gonna to go to aluminum. Um, what I can do is I can hide all the way down or I can collect just the aluminum data. And I'm gonna say, okay. And there's my aluminum data and my copper data all plotted. Now, this doesn't look very pretty. So let's make this look a little nicer all the way around. Go to Customize. I'm going to use the second row here, Chart Axis Titles, much like I taught last time. And I'm going to write Chart Title. Got it. Now I'm going to type Density of 2 to metals. Okay. I'm going to label my x-axis. So I'm going to go to horizontal. 
and that is my volume and don't forget units again and then I'm going to the horizontal axes or excuse me vertical axes to label the Y which is mass don't forget the units and Google instantly um, instantly updates just gotta love it um, now I'm going to go to the third row here on the chart editor and I'm going to click series and I want to put some trend lines boom they're there um, if you want the equation to the lines which guess what if it's mass over volume the slope of these lines are the density of each metal so let's have a look at this and bam uh, we have an equation a 9.54 and for uh, copper which is the blue graph I'm gonna click this and move it aside and we can do a percent error where copper is 8.96 and this data is providing 9.5 aluminum is 2.7 and a 3.1 so this is the, uh, a very cool, simple method to graphing two uh, equations or data sets, excuse me, on one graph. And again, this is easily pasted onto Google Sheets or, uh, um, excuse me, to another Google Sheets or to a, a Google Doc or a, a Google uh, presentation or um, slides, excuse me, Google Slides. So um, hope you uh, learned how to graph and Google uh, uh, Sheets is a little easier to graph with. Enjoy. Bye.